so the cheerleaders can be butt booty naked in their uniforms? Well guess I'm wearing mine. Way back in 2013 I was a sophomore in high school, and there was a tradition that on Fridays, the cheerleaders, football players, without their pads of course, band members, and the other groups performing wore their uniforms to class. This wasn't a written tradition, and only the cheerleaders and dance team's uniforms broke dress code, nobody really batted an eye to it. I wasn't a skirt person, but I liked dresses once in a while, once in a while sorry. As one can tell by my user, I grew up in Texas, and it's still significantly hot in August slash September. So one time while wearing a casual sun dress in September, I was pulled out of class and reprimanded because the end of my dress was 4 inches above the knee, when the dress code said no shorter than 2. I pointed out the cheerleaders and dance team's uniforms every Friday and how they reached mid-thigh at their longest, but was told it was okay because students can wear official school uniforms. And was sent home to change. Clearly, somehow someone had forgotten I was on the golf team. Immediately my mind was turning to the next Friday. The school had recently upgraded the golf team uniforms the year prior, and the girls' team uniforms consisted of a short sleeve collared polo shirt, and a skirt. If you don't know what a skirt is, it's essentially a skirt and short shorts combined. It looks like a skirt, but they essentially act like built-in bike shorts, and these effers were short, I'd argue shorter than the average cheerleader skirt. So that next Friday, about three days later, to my parents' surprise, I was ready to go that morning in my golf uniform, as compared to taking a bag to keep the clothes in to change into after school. But I just said Fridays, we can wear our uniforms to class, and they accepted without question and took me to school. Well by second period, I was sent to the office yet again and the first thing the assistant principal asked me was why I would deliberately disobey her right after our last conversation and threatened in school suspension. I'll never get anywhere in life by not listening, yada yada yada. When I finally had a chance to get a word in, I said but this is my school golf uniform and I pointed to our school's logo that was sewn into my polo shirt. You said students can wear official school uniforms to class, why are the cheerleader uniforms okay and mine isn't? This isn't even a skirt, it's a skort, it has pants. I still remember how pissed off she was. She stared me down for what seemed like a millennia. Then she snapped and told me to get out of her office, and go sit in the lobby area. That I knew what she meant and she would be calling my parents about this blatant disrespect. So I waited and played on my iPod and chatted with the nice secretary, trying to keep myself distracted, because in reality I had been really trying not to cry. I had massive anxiety when it came to authority, but I still had my naive sense of injustice, and I didn't just want to let this go. After about 20 minutes, she popped her head out and in a very monotone voice, told me I could go back to class and to let teachers know I had gotten permission from the front office to wear my uniform. Then she went back in and closed the door before I could even think to respond. I spent the rest of my day dealing with teachers questioning me about my outfit and one or two calling the front office to double check my claim that I had in fact gotten permission, and went to practice after school as normal before being carpooled back home. My dad met me at the front door with a small smirk and I asked him what in the world happened because I knew he was the go-to contact for my school, so I knew she called him. He explained that when she called and tried to get him to come to the school and get me and talked about punishments for my insubordination, he immediately began to argue with her and admitted he raised his voice quite a bit, asking why I wasn't allowed to wear my sport uniform that the school provided to me as a dress requirement at my golf practice, and mentioned taking this all the way to the school board and resolving this obvious favoritism. He then asked me not to do that again, but that he was proud of me, and told me I know I had told you never to start a fight, but to always fight back, I always thought physically, but you damn sure took the advice.